Sorry for being a little late this morning. It's Ira Epstein with your morning flash update for this Wednesday, the 2nd of December, 2020. I have cats and they decided to walk on the, uh, if you will, the soundboard. <laughs> I didn't realize the volume was off when I recorded the morning uh, flash video for you, the first one, so I had to redo it. It gave me time at least. We saw the EIA numbers, the uh, build in the crude stocks and what was going on in the uh, distillates and the gasoline. And put it mildly, it's a bearish report, quite bearish actually. Not as bad as the API report, which showed a net build of nearly 7.8 million barrels, but we've got here nearly 7 million barrels. And yet the market's higher. Market's higher when that occurs, what do you think it's saying? It's telling you that OPEC is doing something, probably something in the way that leaks are starting to come out now from the ministers, that a deal is probably being made. Uh, they're trying to get Russia, Nigeria into the fold now uh, and Iraq to uh, make up the overproduction that they did. So how do we get that? They got to uh, cut back even further and that'll get the market back in balance. I'm giving a guess, I don't know, but when you get bearish news and an opposite reaction, you look at that. The fact that bonds and notes are down a little today keeps you alive with hopes that uh, Ms. Pelosi, Mr. Mnuchin, uh, Mr. McConnell can get together and develop some type of very focused act relief package uh, before they break for Christmas. Gold market higher also gives me hope that that's what's going on. Copper down today for, a, well, not down much, 80 cents is in a big break. But what is down hard is the dollar index, and that is keeping all these other currencies well bid, except for the pound. And you would expect the pound to have a lot of trouble here because we are still in that uh, time frame where before December 31st, they've got to make a decision with the European Union. Do they have a deal or don't they have a deal? When you look at the grain market, weeks uh, stand out. Now, I did see how the forecasts are for the Midwest uh, going in into the, some of the Plains areas, and it's going to be a warmer than normal uh, December, and this is for at least this month, and not as much moisture. So that's interesting, and that gave this market an instant bid right off the bat. As soon as that came out, that's what I was seeing, and I was looking to see how that would react to it. This morning, we got the MBA mortgage headline recap that came out. And as you can see, the two negatives were the refi and the market index itself. The new purchase money, that was pretty good. So people are buying those homes. ADP numbers, a big miss, 307,000, guessing 475,000 by the trade. That missed a lot. The New York ISM business index fell by almost a third from last month. Not a pretty number, and getting back under 50 is ugly to me. Uh, both the Fed Chair and Treasury Secretary Mnuchin meet today on Capitol Hill. I'm sure it'll be televised again. Uh, I don't know what more they can say than they said yesterday, but we'll find out. The Fed Beige Book comes out at 2 today, and this is important, that uh, Britain's Medicines and Healthcare Product Regulatory Advisory Agency approved. Pfizer, BioNTech, but the difference there than our approval, they're going to release it. Approval means now they can start giving the shots. They're expected to be this week giving people vaccines. Why is that so important? Well, the importance of that comes in because a lot of Americans don't want to get the vaccine. But now if you get to see across the pond, as we'll call it, and how they can do with it and are their reactions or not, let's assume there are not. And that's what I'm assuming will be nothing major. Well, if that's the case, by the time we can get our shots here, that's going to change the psyche of the market. And if its psyche gets positive, it'll be easier to get people to take those vaccinations. I am going to today write a report, not write, record a video report on currencies. I haven't decided if I want to do the dollar or the euro currency or both. I haven't made up my mind just yet, but I'm going to do a report on it. Uh, and the reason is that I think there's big plays that are coming in to move for these markets. I'll let you know which side of them, where to go with them, what to do in the report. So in the afternoon, I'll give you an update as to where I'm at when we do the market wrap up at the end of the day. I do always say send out notice of it now. If you haven't gotten onto our mailing list, the way to do so is you go to our website, and on the website, in the free offering session, you, a section, you sign up for something, then you make it to our notice page. I'm Ira Epstein. You have a great day. I will see you all tomorrow. Actually, later today.